once barely escaping extinction, whooping cranes are beginning to thrive again in their native Louisiana habitat. But it takes some creativity to raise chicks for release into the wild, with human caregivers disguising themselves as adult cranes to teach the chicks how to forage. We don't have as many whooping cranes as we would like in captivity to raise chicks. So the chicks that we're raising for release, we actually have to dress up as a crane and teach them how to eat teach them how to drink, and then exercise them daily, just like their parents would in the wild. The birds eat nuts, berries, insects, and fish, and can grow as tall as five feet. Lewis is raising chicks hatched from incubators in New Orleans. She uses a puppet head with a movable beak, specially crafted by an artist from Japan. Our previous puppets did not have a movable beak, so it was very hard to stab a grasshopper or anything and give it to the chick. Um, so this allows us to interact with the chick so much more. We can actually hand them a piece of food instead of try to roll them a piece of food. Once numbering more than 10,000 in North America, whooping crane populations dwindled to fewer than two dozen in the 1940s. There are now about 500 whoopers in the wild and 160 in captivity, though they're not yet considered safe. Whooping cranes are native to Louisiana. We used to have them here all over the place, and most people don't even know what they look like anymore, which is rather sad. But there are signs of progress. The number of cranes has risen by about a third since the early 2000s. And wild cranes in Louisiana are having their best hatching season so far, with five chicks foraging in crawfish ponds near the coast. And once they leave the marsh and find the rice and crawfish agriculture, they tend to love it because it's basically managed as a shallow wetland, which is the exact kind of habitat that they want. Habitat loss and overhunting nearly drove them to extinction. A comeback would be a win for the species and the environment. They eat some of the foods and some of the insects and all the fish and things that help keep those balances that we need to in the, in the brackish areas and the seawater. But it will take time. Chicks aren't counted as part of the flock until they can fly. And at best, yearling cranes have only about a 50% survival rate. Still, efforts are stronger than ever in Louisiana to keep the species alive. Caregivers doing all they can to give these rare birds every chance at survival in the wild. Stacy Place on the Associated Press, New Orleans.